on behalf of research team of access securities we'll talk about the market outlook firstly indian indices are expected to open lower sdx nifty is trading lower by 0.67 percent u.s markets ended lower and weaker than expected sales of home depot as concerns over rising interest rates weighed uh, investor sentiments dow jones lost 193 points or 0.78 percent to close at 24706 Results to watch out for Hindalco, ITC, Tata Steel, AI, Engineering, Alembic Pharma, GSFC, JK Lakshmi, Jyoti Laboratories, Praj Industries, Pratap Snacks, PTC India, Tasty Bite. India's exports increased by 5.7% YY to USD, 25.9 billion. India's trade deficit for April at 13.7 billion compared to 13.24 billion a year ago. On the corporate front, Tata Steel took out Bhushan Steel through its step down subsidiary Banmipal Steel. ICCI Bank has acquired approximately 18% stake in Gammon Infrastructure. Reliance Communications admitted insolvency to proceedings by NCLT Bench. On the thematic front, discuss about the results in the BFSI space. For Iram Transport Finance, AUM grew 21% via the highest in past 7 quarters. Borrowing costs in FI19 may increase 30 to 50 bips, but the impact will be negated by better rural urban mix and increased share of used CVs. Interest reversals of 210 million rupees in Q4 and incremental slippages. We have a reverse ticket price of 1850 versus 1640 earlier due to improved CV cycle, expectation of a normal monsoon, implementation of BS6 norms, NPA recognition cycle behind, and expanding branch network leading to a healthy outlook for Sri Ram Transport Finance. For Ajio and Financial Services, it reported a stellar Q4 with PAT at 649 million, which was higher than consensus. We have raised the FI20 estimates by 6% considering lower credit cost guidance given the consistent improvement in asset quality going ahead. We believe with given operating metrics has improved much faster and diversification benefits will play out over the next few years coupled with operating leverage. So we are positive on Shiram Transport Finance and Ojeevan Financial Services. On the technical front, Nifty put on a, a flat note and strong buying momentum in initial alert index to mark a day high at around uh, 10,929 levels. However, profit booking at high levels erased all the earlier gains to on a flat note. Nifty closed at 10,802 with a loss of 5 points. Chart button says that if Nifty crosses and sustains out 10,830 levels, it would miss buying which should lead index to 10,082 10,900 levels. However, index sustains below. 10,780 levels, it known as profit booking, which would take the index to 10,750 to 10,730 levels. Stocks looking strong. Emphasis DBL, Manpassan, Just Dial, Siemens, Tata Steel, TCS, Bajapin. Stocks looking weak. Federal Bank, Gold India, Jubilee, Bata India, Mandasan Sumi. USD are open with an upward gap and buying momentum along with short covering throughout the session later to close near days high. USD are closed at 68.2 with a gain of 0.83%. Chart partners that if USDN are crossing sustains over 68.2 levels, it would witness buying which will lead USDN towards 68.44 to 68.6 levels. However, USDN breaks below 68 levels, it would witness selling which would take USDN towards 67.9 to 67.8 levels. On the director's front, Nifty futures closed at 10,818.6 on positive note, with 2.11% decrease in open interest, indicating short covering. FIS 1 and buyers in directors equated to enough 3,516 crores. Among stock futures, Bharat Finance, Bajaj Finance, UBL and Volta have witnessed long build-up, and which was trend in the coming session. Stocks has witnessed short build-up are PC Jewelers, ACC, Allahabad Bank and Fidelity Industries, and we remain week in coming session. So this is from RN. Thank you.